catalogs, menus, ebooks, magazines, photo books, and portfolios. All of these seem like they're not just good to have on the internet, but now absolutely necessary in order for us to get any traction and to just share it with people that we need to share it with, whether that's an audience or an employer. And today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to do exactly that. First off with templates online that you can basically customize and then upload. And secondly, if you wanna do things more custom, if you already have your file prepared in InDesign, I'll show you how to get that onto an online flipbook as well. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, before the video starts, I just wanna shout out that this video is sponsored by Issue, uh, which is the online publishing platform that we're gonna be used in our video. Now, you guys know that I love Issue. If you've been watching my previous videos, they were basically the people that helped me get my first job and I have no problem promoting such a, an amazing product. And these guys are trusted by some of the biggest names in the industry. National Geographic, UNICEF, Etsy, Berkshire Hathaway, they all use Issue. So I was able to secure a pretty nice bonus for you guys. If you use the code LYH30, you can get a yearly subscription for 30% off. So. Use that while you still can and let's get right into the video. We're gonna start off with Adobe Express and I'm gonna just type in catalog on the top here. And here it says templates. So I'm gonna view all of the different templates that I can work with. Now, a lot of these are single pages. We kind of want them to be multiple pages. And so I'm going down here and I'm gonna check on multiple pages. Um, you can see that there's many different templates that we can work on. Uh, and I'm just gonna start with something like this. This looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just customize this. And if you guys need a little bit of help with Adobe Express and how to customize things, how to get assets in and all that good stuff, uh, watch this video. It helps a lot. It gives you a nice quick start guide. But I'm gonna fast forward this. So come along for the process and let's go. Now that we made something super simple, uh, we can go ahead and upload it onto Issue and share with anybody that we want. Uh, so we're gonna do that by going down into the add-ons and to search add-on, all we have to do is put Issue. So that's two S's, two U's. And if you hit enter, you can see that there's one result. Click on that and this pop-up will basically show up. Now it's gonna give you an option to do a flipbook, an uh, embed on your website, a GIF, or a social post. We're going to focus on the flipbook. Now you have the choice to preview design. So if you actually click on that button and once it's done, you'll see that you'll get a nice preview link. And if you do make any updates, you can always just re-upload it and it will basically refresh the page. Now, in order to preview what this looks like, you just have to click this button over here and it'll basically give you a nice preview. Now we can see this in our grid to see all three of our pages or we can see it in full screen and just flip through our new editorial. So you can see that now we have this very nice flipping effect and that didn't take long at all for me to upload this. But guys, remember we're still in preview mode. So if we wanna do anything like share down here, we gotta go back and actually publish the document first. So in order to actually publish this, we'll need to connect it to an account on issue. So I already have one made, but feel free to use your Google account or make a brand new one whichever one's easier for you. So after I hit the connect button, it's going to say authorization successful and it'll show me my other drafts that I haven't published. Now make sure we're clicking upload to issue here. Make sure you name your file. So we'll do LYH ice cream. After that process finishes, you can see that it's gonna say draft and what you're gonna have to do is go to issue and it's going to bring up this page. It's gonna ask us to add a link to this page. And since this is a catalog and I wanna show off my new products, I wanna add links to this page. So let's go ahead and add links. You can also access that by going to the left here and just clicking on the links icon. And what links allow us to do is if we want to link this Taste of Spring to say a product or a web page, I can type in the web page here. So here, let's use lihstudio.com and I can click save. Now, what will happen is after you publish this, you can actually click on this and use it. Now, going back to the publication tab, we can go in and enter a description if we want. We can change the availability. So 
if you just want certain people to have it, make sure that it is unlisted, as well as some other settings on the right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and publish this document. And you're gonna go ahead and confirm on the contents rights just to make sure that we're not infringing on anybody's copyrighted material. So go ahead and click on that. And there you go, you can see that we already have a shareable link over on the left here. And if I actually go over to the publication, you can see if I hover over our Taste of Spring and I click on it, it'll actually lead us to the URL that we put in before. And that's it. From this page, you're ready to go and share it with anybody that you want. Well, now you might be asking, Sam, what if I have a custom file that I've been working on in InDesign for like a month or two and I wanna do the same thing? I know, calm down, I got you. Uh, the first way actually is very easy and it's just a good old way of exporting your file and uploading the PDF. So you can actually upload any PDF onto issue, no problem, and it'll turn it into a nice flipbook. Uh, just like that. So make sure you rename everything after the file has been uploaded and you can click publish and it'll turn into a online flipbook just like any other method. We're gonna go and do it with integration in InDesign. So in InDesign here, I have my portfolio that I've basically just used our LYH template for. I just dragged in and dropped and you know, edited what I needed to edit on my actual portfolio in order to make it mine and from InDesign, I really want to upload this onto Issue, and they actually have a nice integration as well. And what's good about this is that when you make changes to your InDesign file, you can actually just update it online. It'll, it'll update for you, and then uh, the link that you send to other people will also be refreshed. So that's super handy, especially when you wanna make updates and you're sending out a live portfolio. Now, what we want to do is go into the plugins, and what you want to do is actually browse the plugin, and all you need to do is up top search issue right here. So you're gonna bring issue up, so it's gonna be right here. I already have it installed, but here you're gonna have a install or a get button. Make sure that your InDesign is actually closed when this is happens. It'll ask you to actually close it, so um, you won't be able to install it if you have it open. But after you actually have it installed, you can actually go into window, go all the way down to extension, and you're just going to hit issue, publish a document. Now, when this window pops up, it's very good because they remind you to save your document in order to publish. And that's because when you resave your document, it's gonna tell you the same thing. And it's gonna upload a completely different thing than if you don't save. So we're gonna go ahead and close this and then we're going to save our document. So I'm hitting control S here and we're going back into window, extension, issue. So now that we can basically bypass that, we're gonna go ahead and connect to our issue account. So we just have to do this one time. Uh, it's gonna bring up this. You click the logo, it'll bring up a pop-up menu. I am connected to my account here, so go ahead and connect. And with three simple clicks, I'm basically in. Now we're going to close that, and here you can see that it's gonna bring up our publication. So it's going to be whatever the name of our file is, and you can actually go ahead and just publish now, or you can open your draft on issue. If you open your draft on issue, it's basically like a preview. It's already been kind of uploaded and you can flip through it and see what it looks like. But if you're ready to actually publish it, you can go ahead and hit the publish now button. Now it's gonna give you the same content rights agreement that you have to check as you do it online. But after that, you can see that everything is now online and I can actually go and see this on the actual issue website. So if I click open my publication on issue, you can see that everything has already been published. And as mentioned previously, if I wanted to change anything or if anything has changed in my document, so instead of LYH, maybe I put Sam and I hit save. If I go up into our window, extension issue once again, you can see that instead of saying publish, this now says publish changes. So all you have to do is publish the change, hit the content rights again, and now our title page has changed to say Sam Studio. And so that is super, super handy when it comes to changing your portfolio up. And that's a neat little advantage as well as a neat little trick for you if you're doing anything in InDesign. Now, the thing that I think is really cool is you can actually go into things like statistics. So right now there's no statistics for this file because I just uploaded it. 
But if I were to show you guys uh, the statistics for something like this, you can see that I can actually go into statistics and I can look at things like how many impressions, how many reads, how much time people spend on actually reading this, things like when they actually clicked on my link, uh, which page they're hovering and what their read time is, what their reading device is. And I think it's very important to also know things like where your readers are around the world. Now, once everything is actually on, you can go ahead and share. And that's probably the purpose of why you're doing this in the first place. You can share a nice link. You can embed this on your actual website by copying codes. Uh, you can also generate a QR code so that people can just simply scan it and go directly to whatever your flipbook is. And you can also share a GIF, which is uh, just the animated version. And it actually gives you a nice preview so that you can mail it out to whoever you needed to mail it out. And that's it. That's how we take something that may or may not have been designed in the beginning all the way through to being a beautiful online flipbook that you can actually share or even embed on your website. So if you guys have learned anything new, please don't hesitate to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below how this was helpful to you. With that said, follow me on Instagram and make sure you tag me with anything that you create. Check out our website for more resources like this and I'll see you guys in the next one.